in the Olympics again, I had to escape the chaos and the atrocities and all the nonsense going on down below to just get away and get some solitude. So one of my favorite haunts up, up the Dungeon S. And I was up here at uh, a creek and I got the waders on. Last time I was up here was uh, October of last year. And just curious what the uh, changes might be from last autumn to now spring. So here's a favorite a little hole here and some falls that run down into that and uh, just decided to put the waders on and wade up the creek here uh, and check out this spot. So that's six months ago. Here it is, uh, April and it's spring. So I uh, took a few shots here. I like this, these falls here that dump into this water, this blue green uh, F5-6. And, uh, and I got here before sunrise, uh, really early, hit the trailhead uh, in the dark as usual. And uh, so the light's just starting to uh, come through, peak the Olympics there. And uh, so I decided to get the waders on, like I said, cross over and on up to this hole and just see what the difference would be from last October. And looking for new life and some new growth and the moss, of course, is flourishing as it always does up here. Uh, Olympic Mountain and uh, just loving it. Fresh air, peace and quiet and solitude. The snow level is quite high, about 7,000 feet. Uh, I was tentatively thinking about Royal Basin, but uh, I've done that many times in one day and it's eight miles up, eight miles back, and another almost a mile to Upper Basin. And that would have been a push. I'm not quite sure if I'll do that in a day again, but we'll see. If so, it might be another two weeks out. Uh, gives it the uh, snow time to melt off the lake. I was up there a couple years ago in April and it was gorgeous, snow everywhere and it was ultraviolet and it uh, melted the perimeter of the lake off and it was that aqua blue green uh, with the white perimeter and white center and it was gorgeous. So my hope is to try to do that again. And that was uh, mid to late April, about two years ago. So I'm not sure if I'll get up there again, but I sure hope so. So this is where I set up right here and I just think it's real pretty with this aqua blue green down here and the falls and a little bit of the falls up top there. That's F58 and uh, open wide open at 24 and I didn't need any filters or anything like that. It's dark enough down in here that uh, I don't need to slow that down at all. Fresh air and wilderness 
forest, the mountains, and the trees. Up here, there's no insanity going on like, like it is down below uh, as it runs rampant. So, peace and quiet, and, and uh, this is the reality up here that I choose. down the creek and, and uh, waited a bit just looking for some composition and I think I got what I came to get up high and I just scooted over to the Dungeness River here and it's only 920 quite early but uh, it's just I planned on a short adventure today anyway so uh, it's nice to sit here and get the waders off get my boots back on and, and it's only about a mile back to the car so uh, still partly cloudy, and uh, but nice, real comfortable. So spring is very welcome. It's a nice escape from uh, all that down there. So just enjoying the river for a few minutes and uh, pack it in. So see you later. 